Muskoka is now under a fire ban as the fire danger rating moves to extreme for the region. That means no fires are allowed at all. And Huntsville Lake of A's Fire Chief Gary Monahan says it's a proactive reaction to the long stretch of dry weather we're facing this week. We, we want to be prepared. So uh, we just want the public to know that, you know, as uh, we've met, as the Muskoka Fire Chiefs, we're prepared. Uh, we have crews that uh, are ready to, to get deployed if we have to go to other municipalities. We're just, we have a plan and, uh, you know, hopefully we don't have to uh, activate that plan, but we're, uh, we're willing to, uh, uh, to assist the, any municipality that requires it. And he says communication is key to keeping our region safe from a devastating wildfire breaking out, especially with the MNRF. We call, it, we call the MNRF on any fire mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to grass fire or bush fire. Uh, we, we, we automatically, it's a first call. We let the MNRF make the decision on whether they're coming or not. Um, and, then, and, and also determines whether or not we're on a crown protected land or we're on a municipal protected land. So, but we contact the MNRF uh, as soon as that call comes in. Monaghan says with wildfires spread out across Canada and even Northern Ontario, he wants to make sure Muskoka doesn't join that list. Watch the news. See what's happening uh, in Nova Scotia right now. See what's happening in, uh, in Alberta, BC, in the, um, in the north. Uh, you know, th th it's the devastation just by not paying attention and not, and not following the rules of the fire ban. I mean, it, it, it could be devastating. So we're asking the public just to, you know, uh, you know help us out and, and uh, do not do any burning, uh, whether it's daytime or nighttime. The question is, will we see relief soon for these tinder dry conditions? According to Environment Canada, not likely. So what we've been seeing is a high pressure system kind of locked in place, preventing any kind of system making its way to the area over the past few days and again, continuing through the rest of the week. Um, and that's just allowed that sun to dry up any soil moisture uh, and that's going to continue uh, through the following days with that heat and sunny conditions continuing through the rest of the week. So it's already dry and it's going to get even drier for the next week, probably a little bit longer even. Uh, looking at long range forecasts, it's possible to extend up to two weeks, but almost, uh, I would say 80 to 90% sure that this week at least, next seven days, remaining dry.